on the other end of the spectrum would be kind of like black swan events. Um, these tend to be like ethically very kind of loaded, morally ambiguous issues, right? So like the U.S. has been very staunchly like against doing, um, you know, um, genetic engineering to humans, right? And yep. so like we've had the capability of modifying genomes in people for a while now. Um, but for whatever reason, we don't do it. Yeah, and, and you know, honestly, there's probably a pretty good ethical argument for like why you shouldn't do that, right? Like these things are very complex and like, if you get something wrong, like that's a real human to, you know, whatever degree you agree with that. It's at least the form no, of the possibility. Yeah. It's at least the possibility of a person yeah. that um, you're now destroying. Right. And it's like, well, yeah. whose hands have the blood there? You know, it's like, OK, like we would love to take our time to figure that out. But at the same time, like uh, a lot of scientists in China are doing I, you know, we know they're at least curing HIV in at least two, you know, um, so little you'd girls. Me you'd mentioned this before we started recording. So sure. They they made two women just immune to HIV for their entire lives. Yeah. So they modified the embryo, the fertilized eggs of these two um, humans. It was put into uterus. Uterus screw. Babies were born, and they announced to the world that you know that these were the first genetically modified humans. And instead of saying like, oh no, like China's got, you know, China's ahead of us on the race. Um, there was like outrage of like, people shouldn't be doing this. 